Brian and I get an epilepsy, and he's going to tell us about that. Brian, thank you so much for being here. Hello, my name is Brian Chufo. I'm with the representative of Stephanie Click's office. She couldn't be uh, here today. She's actually on the floor. We've got a couple girls that went to the human services that she's having to help on the floor as they go for a vote right now. So she sends her greetings and thank you for being here. Welcome to your capital. Uh, House Bill 892 has a Senate companion, Senate Bill 339 by Senator L. Tide. House Bill 892 is a narrowly drafted bill that would allow low THC to be prescribed by certain neurologists and epileptologists for patients with intractable epilepsy. And it's, I believe it is the most narrowly drafted bill regarding uh, uh, cannabis. And uh, we have we have hope that it can get through this session. A couple of things that are interest that, that are different are a couple of details about our bill. Is it places the regulatory uh, oversight and administration of the uh, 892 under the de Department of Public Safety, and it establishes a compassionate use registry for um, patients to be in and for the dispensers to check to make sure that people who need the medication are getting the medication and the system is not being abused. It defines a tractable epilepsy as someone who, as a, as a, a seizure disorder that has tried that has tried and failed two anti-epileptic drugs at the maximum dosages without success. Um, and then THC, low THC cannabis is defined as not more than half a percent THC and not less than 10 percent CBD by weight. It also specifically prohibits smoking. Um, and it's to be prescribed, and it uh, is administered orally. Uh, there are, there we are working on some commi a committee substitute language for it to deal with some issues that have been brought to us. Um, so if you have any suggestions or concerns about the bill, uh, please stop, feel free to stop by our office this afternoon. We're in E2716, uh, and we're hoping to get a hearing on it here very soon. Uh, so it won't be next week, because next week we have the budget, and it's going to public health week, maybe on Tuesday on the Budget is being heard on Tuesday, so they'll be here till Wednesday morning. We're here on the budget, so it'll be two weeks or two weeks at the earliest. Uh, I can take a handful of questions real fast. Uh, Keep it short. Uh, uh, numbers on how to, you know, how does she find those numbers to dose patients to dose patients? Like why is it 0.5 percent? Yeah, she got you. Seven. So we've been working with the Epilepsy Foundation and some other organizations to try to come up with that. We wanted to make sure it was low enough where it was impossible to get high off of it. So the THC had to be a very low number to keep the psychoactive, which THC is a psychoactive ingredient. So she's uh, delegating what a doctor can prescribe, right? Or putting limits on the amount of where it can be grown. So this, this strain would include Charlotte's Web. And a few others along those lines, but it's, it's we have to put the limits on there. Otherwise, it doesn't. The, I don't believe the political structure is there. I believe so. On this, on this because it's, 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 that's part of the problem, and the bill is designed to be super restrictive so that it can get through. So, um, you know, some of these more logistical things about it, take it into the office and get in their ear because there, there can be things changed on the floor. So those of you who have concerns about this bill, don't give up on, on your point. I think I'll call and ask for an appointment for today, like four days ago, so I didn't receive it. Tackle it. Okay, quickly. What's the room again? E2716 is our, is our office. Okay. And would you briefly just go over maybe some of the provisions that are different in the substitute bill that you're working on as the so right now on the substitute, we're actually going to scratch, we're looking at, this is where we're still working some of the issues, we're looking at making it um, for two epileptologists and neurologists have to prescribe for everyone. Right now, it's, that's only for minors, a single one can do it for adults, but we're also looking at the FDA approved requirement because um, there is no FDA approved drugs for Gervais syndrome and certain age groups. And so we're looking at removing that, but also having the um, having two prescribers for that. Effect.
but that's that's kind of some of the main things. We're also looking at moving the timeline. Right now, there's been a lot of talk about the gender 118 dispensing by the license uh, for, for the uh, licenses, and that's actually like an end an stop thing type thing. You have to have it done by it's a deadline, not a start date. But we're looking at moving that into the website. One more. Um, it's illegal to prescribe. So how are we going to get two doctors to prescribe? How does That's this a good give point. us access? And this is where we're working with, with doctors on this language specifically. Um, I have not gotten that concern from the doctors. I've gotten it from other people. So I, we're in communication with the doctors on that on that language specifically. Okay. So we are aware of that. Thank you for bringing that up. And if you have any other concerns, please stop on that. Thank you. Our representative folks office. Have a great day.